In the optimal strategy for a game problem, we're given as input a row of n coins, each of which has a value, v1 through vn. And we'll assume that the value of n is even. We're going to play a game with our opponent, where on your turn, you get to pick either the left or the right endpoint of the row of coins, and remove that coin, keeping its value for yourself. Our goal is going to be to maximize the value of the coins that we end up selecting. In other words, I'd like to compute what is the maximum possible value that I can guarantee winning after playing this game, regardless of how my opponent plays. As our dynamic programming subproblems, we'll choose exactly what I just said. Let's let v of ij denote the maximum possible value that we can definitely win, the maximum value we can guarantee winning, if only the subrange from coin i to coin j currently remains, and it's our turn to move. As base cases, we're going to compute v of i comma i and v of i comma i plus 1 for all values of i, and these are going to be easy to compute. We'll then proceed to compute v of i, i plus 2 for all values of i, then v of i, i plus 3 for all values of i, and so on. This is the order in which we're going to compute solutions to subproblems. And for each subproblem, we can compute v i j as follows. Of our original n coins, we're focusing only on the range from the ith coin up to the jth coin. And since it's our turn to move, we have a choice of picking either the ith coin or the jth coin. Since we would like to pick whichever of these two coins gives us the best result, we're going to choose the maximum of two things, one of which we compute as the best value that we can obtain if we pick the ith coin, and the other of which represents the best value we can obtain if we pick the jth coin. Let's first focus on the case where we pick the ith coin. If we go ahead and pick the ith coin, then the remaining range is going to go from the i plus first coin up to the jth coin. And our opponent will then have the choice of picking the i plus first coin or the jth coin. If our opponent decides to pick the jth coin, then we'll be reduced to the subproblem which has the range from i plus 1 to j minus 1. And so the best value that we can get, since it'll be our turn again, at that point is going to be v, i plus 1, j minus 1. Similarly, if our opponent decides to pick the i plus first coin, then the subproblem that we're left with is from i plus 2 up to j, and the best that we can hope to do from that point on is denoted by v of i plus 2 j. And since we're interested in computing the best uh, guarantee that we have on the amount of money that we can get, the only guarantee that we can issue is that we can achieve the minimum of these two values, because we don't have control over which choice our opponent makes. If our opponent is smart, then of course he'll choose such that it minimizes the amount of value that we receive, although this algorithm doesn't really depend on any particular strategy for the opponent. And of course, I don't want to forget the one remaining piece of this expression. If I actually pick the ith coin, then I also receive, in addition to this minimum, I receive the value of the ith coin, vi. And the other sub-expression, the one that results from when I pick the jth coin first, is very similar. So we've now shown how to compute the value vij in terms of solutions to smaller subproblems. When we implement our algorithm, it's going to have a running time of O of n squared, because there are n squared subproblems, each of which takes O of one time to compute.